Hi guys, I'm Jin. First, in this video, we are not talking about a mobile phone with built-in stabilizer or the portable camera such as GoPro or DJI Pocket and so on. Of course, you can use the methods I'm going to talk about to make your shot smoother. But in this video, we will mainly talk about DSLR mirror lens cameras. When we talk about smooth shots, many people will definitely think about buying a gimbal. Yes. But for many beginners, buying a gimbal is not such a cheap investment. The starting price is around $300 or maybe even more. Even if you own a gimbal, using it is not always very convenient. Many times you need to take a shot of your subject right in the moment. That means taking out your gimbal, install it, level it, and shoot. But by that time, you've probably already missed your chance. Other times, you might not feel like carrying your gimbal. That's when you shoot handheld. But handheld shots tend to be unstable and shaky. What should you do? I will give you the answer in this video. Let's talk about most common shot as an example, which is following the character. Generally, we do this by following someone while holding your camera. However, the shot will most likely be very unstable and shaky. This kind of shaky shot might fit if you're trying to convey nervous feelings or atmosphere. But that's not the purpose of this video. Here we are going to talk about how to smooth the shot. Okay, so the first thing we can do to smooth this shot is turn on the in-body stabilizer of the camera. Many current mirror lens cameras have this feature. It will make the shot a little bit more stable, but it's still not enough. The second thing to do is to adjust the way you walk. We call it the ninja walk. You do this by taking very light steps. You also have to slightly bend your knees, then control your breath and move forward at a steady pace. This should make your shot already much more smooth and stable. Also, I have a little trick. If you have a neck strap for your camera, when you're shooting, you can pull the camera against your neck using the strap as tight as possible. This will help stabilize the shot. Then import your shot to Premiere Pro to add a warp stabilizer. The shot you get after all these steps is almost comparable to the gimbal shot. Is there any other way to stabilize handheld shots? Yes, by shooting in slow motion. Although your shot looks shaky at normal speed, slowing the footage down will also slow the shaking at the same time. So your shot will look a lot more stable. How do you shoot a slow motion shot? We can set the camera frame to 60 frames per second when shooting and then reduce the speed by 50% in the software. This will make the shot slower and more stable. However, this won't work for you if you don't want to slow motion shot, but still keep this in mind. It's a very useful technique to smooth out certain shots. Generally speaking, filming is a thing that allows you to be creative. You can use your imagination to think a way to make your shot stable. For example, if you can skateboard, try in filming while skateboarding, your shot will look more stable if you are a little careful. Another example would be when shooting a product from a lower angle. This is often a very inconvenient and uncomfortable thing to shoot. Using a gimbal might not be possible. Then how about using a slider? Well, those are expensive and not everyone has them. An easy solution to put a camera on the tower, then drag the tower backwards. This achieves a similar effect to a slider shot. Believe me, there are many problems that can be solved as long as you are willing to use imagination. Of course, if you have some better method, you may as well tell us in the comment section. If you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe this channel. See you next time. Bye.